Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back, you guys, to another episode of the Bulking Series. Today is Monday. We got a big week ahead of us. Lots of stuff to do, including a chest workout. It's gonna be a juicy chest pump later on. But let's get started with the day. I gotta make breakfast. There's my dog up there. Let's go. So breakfast, I wanted to get some protein in, so I cooked up about 200 to 250 grams of beef mince with some sriracha and honey. So that's just gonna be my protein. And then for the carbs of this meal, I'm gonna do a smoothie. And I wanna show you guys how I make my smoothie because it's delicious and I'm gonna stop gatekeeping the recipe. So I primarily do the smoothie to get some micronutrients in because obviously fruit is good for you, but it also tastes delicious and it has a decent amount of calories. So I like to call it my bulking smoothie, but you guys can switch up the ingredients to give it more calories. First things first, I'm gonna do two decently sized scoops of oatmeal, that's about 30 grams. Then I'm gonna do one whole bag, which is 350 grams of frozen mango. To that, I'm gonna add some orange juice. I usually just eyeball it, but it gives it some sweetness, so I always add orange juice. Last but not least, I'm gonna do one banana. Throw that in like that. Now to this, I'm gonna add a little bit more water, but I also like the smoothies thicker, so don't add too much. All right, I like to blend that for at least a minute, get it nice and smooth. We should have this beautiful consistency, as you guys can see, and that's breakfast. I'm telling you guys, this is my absolute favorite breakfast on a bulk. The saltiness of the beef is like really good for almost kind of just setting your taste buds up. And then you've got the sweetness of the smoothie. Just perfect together. I'm gonna eat my breakfast and I'll check in with you guys soon. Check out these new shirts, you guys. Obviously, you can see the, the Young LA logo right there, but if you look over here, that says Chicago. That's actually where I'm from, believe it or not. And if you look at the back, there's like a unique, special graphic for the city of Chicago only on this specific t-shirt. And they're doing like five other shirts for major US cities like Los Angeles and everything. So these are super cool. One of the coolest t-shirts I've ever dropped. I'm gonna show you guys more from the new Young LA drop later, but that's happening on Tuesday, October 24th. Oh, and by the way, your boy turns 24 years old on the 26th of October. So if any of you guys are thinking of getting me a little birthday gift, a Young LA purchase with code Lee would be very much appreciated. All right, no lie, I might have just got the best idea I've ever had. That I have this gluten-free like pumpkin bread mix. The calories on this are nuts. 200 calories, 16 servings. What is that, like 3,200? New big cozy hoodies. The marshmallow hoodies. Yeah, the marshmallow hoodies. Ooh, baby, these are comfortable. These are also dropping on the 24th in that Young LA drop this Tuesday, but man, these are so cozy. I'm gonna wear this on the walk to the grocery store. I also just need to get some steps. Half the time, I don't even like need anything from the grocery store, but I wanna go for a walk. I'm like, ah, I might as well stock up on something so I don't have to get it next time. It's a little windy. Windy? What? <laughs> windy, I can't freaking speak. Uh, but I got that pumpkin bread in the oven. That thing should be delicious. And I'll get a ton of calories in eating that stuff before we go to the gym later. And we're training chest, so I'm gonna have this big juicy chest pump from all the carbs of that pumpkin bread. Ooh, it's gonna be good. I might even grab like just a cheat code snack, like some chips or something. Chips, as bad as they are for you, cause they're like, you know, fried potato chips. They're actually loaded with carbs. Like there's fats in them, but there's a lot of carbs in them too. And having like a bag of chips before the gym, I swear to God, cause all the sodium, the pumps go insane. So we might just cultivate a crazy pump. 10 dollar haul secured cookies chips frozen mango more orange juice freshly squeezed of course doesn't get easier than that for calories hey by the way guys something like 60 percent of you who watch my youtube videos don't even subscribe i'm gonna put up like a percent statistic but that's crazy like if you guys are still watching go down and hit that subscribe button we post videos every single week i wouldn't let you guys down i wouldn't give you a bum steer Come on. Guys, I just took the bread out of the oven. Whoa, it's actually perfect. Like, it's got a little bit of bounce to it. It's not too dry, you know, I kept it moist. So I'm gonna cut into it. Let's see how we did. No joke, you guys. I'm literally in shock at how good this is. 
Oh my god. It's like freaking cake. I'm about to eat so many calories from this. This is just gonna be like my pre-workout meal plus maybe some protein, but oh my god. Look at how moist it is. It's like still hot. Mm. Gym fit of the day. Bro, that is next level. Cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on the new items from this drop. This is about to be an insane workout. If you listen closely, you'll hear it is pouring rain again outside. <sighs> I'm genuinely so sick of living in this country with its shitty weather. The fact that I have to bring an umbrella to the gym five days a week is just stupid. But yeah, we're gonna have to do it again today. And I'm probably just gonna have to meet you guys there. I don't wanna get my camera wet. Use code Lee, guys. Get me out of the hood. And by that, I mean, let me move to a place that actually sees the sun in the winter. All right, see you guys at the gym. One hour later. Alrighty guys, we have arrived at the gym. I'm gonna be training some chest today, like I said, mixing in some bench press for the first time in a while, just straight up flat bench, as well as a ton of other stuff. I might even get into some shoulders. We're just gonna have a good, intense push workout. So let's get it going. All right, so pretty much totally warmed up on bench. I'm now gonna go to heavier weight and I'm gonna stay at that weight for like three sets. Keeping the form really clean because bench is still a little bit iffy with my shoulder, but generally speaking, if I stay light, it feels good and I get a good pump, so let's go. You guys will notice when I'm benching, I try to go really slow, like three seconds on the way down, two seconds on the way up. You can kind of just like bounce the barbell around and use your chest as like a trampoline and kind of have this elastic explosive technique, but you want to keep the muscles under tension the entire time during the movement. So doing it fast and bouncing it off your chest, you're not actually getting as much as you would out of the movement by going slowly. Especially like when I see some beginner lifters and they're just like catapulting that bench off of their chest, you're not getting any tension when you're doing that and you're just cheating yourself out of more gains so drop the weight leave your ego at the door and it's way better to go lighter on bench trust Okay, one more set. First two are good. I'm feeling good. Let's finish strong. That's what training to failure looks like. <laughs> I don't know if I had that, I didn't know if I had that last rep in me for a few seconds there, but we got it. And that's what training to failure does. It's hard, it makes you struggle, but that is where gains are made, close to failure. Remember that. All right guys, so we got the dip bar here set up and I'm now gonna be doing some heavy dips. I haven't decided if I'm gonna add weight to these, but I might put on a weight belt and strap on like a 20 kilogram plate and just make them that much harder. So we're gonna warm up and see how we feel. Oh yeah, we're going heavier.
All right, that was a good set. Peak laziness is not even unstrapping the weight belt until the final set, because I'm just too lazy to take it on and off again. I don't know how many times I've probably told you guys to do weighted dips by now, probably a million, but if you're not, they will blow up your arms and your chest at the exact same time. One of my favorite movements, and they're literally criminally underrated. I love them. Dips are killer. You guys can see on literally almost every single final rep of most of my sets, that last complete repetition, I'm literally fighting for my life to get up. Like it's a 10 second grind sometimes. You need to understand that if you don't push through hard reps like I'm doing in those specific end of my sets, you won't make as many gains. Like training to failure requires you to get extremely uncomfortable and it almost feels like sometimes you might hurt yourself or you're gonna put yourself at a risk of injury, but as long as you're using good form, you need to override your fears in your brain and you need to just push through because once you break through past failure or reaching failure, that is where gains start to flood in like a waterfall, you know what I mean? So that's that for dips and barbell bench. I think next up I might switch up to a few pull-ups or some pull-downs just to get a little back work, but then we're gonna do a bit more shoulders and stuff and some triceps. Something about having a chest pump when you're stretching your lat out feels just phenomenal. Like when I have lots of blood in my chest, it almost like it comes all the way down and it feels like I'm activating my lat during certain pressing movements. So when I'm doing the pull-ups, it actually feels so smooth and it just doesn't hurt my shoulders at all. I don't know what it is, but try mixing in pull-ups on your chest days, you guys. Feels great. So I did three of those to failure. That's more than enough. So now I'm gonna move on to some shoulders. I'm not gonna do any shoulder pressing today, but I do wanna hit some side delts just to work on the width of my shoulder, get that three-dimensional look. As you guys can see, filling out this shirt as well. These new uh, compression shirts are insane. Doing my lat raises, single arm. The other day, I noticed that one of my arms comes slightly higher up than the other arm when I'm doing lateral raises with both arms at the same time. And I did injure my shoulder, a lot of you guys will know, I tore the long head of my bicep, which is actually a shoulder injury about a year and a half ago. And so I believe that that's kind of like an imbalance that I've sustained, but it's hard to correct. So I've been doing them single arm and trying to focus on one arm at a time instead, unilaterally, and it's been really helping. I also get like a way better mind to muscle contraction with just my side delt instead of other movements or other muscles like my traps. Give them a try. If you guys don't feel your shoulders that much doing side raises, try it with one arm, it might be better. Final exercise of the workout, I'm gonna speed run some triceps, try to get some last juice squeezed out of my arms, and then we're finito.
right, I'm back. It was raining even harder than it was on the walk to the gym, on the walk back from the gym. So I gotta get into some comfortable clothes and get cozy. That's better. This is basically the last main item from the drop tomorrow, you guys. Not only the marshmallow hoodie that I already showed you, but they've got a matching pair of joggers. So you just wear them as a set. You can get both in the same color and they're pretty freaking amazing. I mean, the inside is actually fleece. So it feels super, super comfortable. You can wear it without anything underneath. So it's just touching your skin. I love it. Now we gotta cook a post-workout meal because I'm hungry. And before I forget to tell you guys, this Young LA drop is all live. By the time you guys are watching this, the link in the description description is going to take you guys straight to the website. Make sure you use code Lee. That's my discount code. It'll save you guys 15% off and it directly supports me. Give me a little birthday present. I love you guys. Bruh. Where's my rice at? Here we go. I'm a pro at making my rice really fast now. Let me show you how I do it. Get a scale. Throw that down. Zero the scale to get rid of the weight of whatever object you're putting the rice into. 260 grams gives me two different meals worth of rice. That's 130 grams of dry weight per meal. Go ahead and throw that rice into a pot. Wash all that starch off. I just kind of gently put my fingers and kind of move the rice around. All right, rice is clean. I'm now gonna add some water to the rice. I just double the weight of the rice that I'm using. So I had 260 grams in here before. Now I'm gonna do 520 grams of water. That should be good. Get that pan on the stove. And the final step, get yourself some salt and just throw that in with the rice. And in 10 to 15 minutes, that'll be perfect. And we're gonna be ready to eat. You know you're a big bodybuilding guy when you got too much protein in the upstairs fridge, so you gotta put your other protein in the downstairs fridge. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy, that is good. Ice cold, Coke Zero, cherry flavored. Woo! Rice is almost done cooking right there. So I'm gonna get started on the beef. Paprika on beef is the best. Look at that. Beautiful. I don't know if you guys can hear if you listen really closely. There's really heavy rain. You might not be able to hear it, but it's a cool vibe. Just sitting out here, like under my kind of porch kitchen table, there's like a, like skylights above me. Just eating late at night, bulking. Cheers guys. I'll see you guys later when I'm done with this meal. All right guys, so finished up that meal a little while ago, but now I've got a cheat code. Picked these up earlier. Custard creams, these are basically like vanilla Oreos, like the white cookie Oreos with, you know, different, cut, like not the actual black Oreos, you know what I'm talking about? Um, but they're like a, a European version called custard creams. So I'm gonna eat this entire pack because there are 10 for 60 calories. How easy is that? Done. All right guys, so I actually made myself a cup of tea here. And what I'm gonna do is dip these cookies in the tea. This is bulking 101. Something's too dry, add a little moisture to it, and it gets easier to eat. Just like that, 60 calories, so easy. I'm gonna eat this whole box. Yo, all right, it's time for me to go to bed. With that being said, I'm gonna end off the video there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, don't forget to go grab something from that new Young LA drop. It's some fire gear, you guys. One of the best drops I've ever done. Code Lee, of course. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned, and until then, have a great rest of your day.